Disclaimer, Skyrim is rated M for Mature, for blood and gore, intense violence, sexual themes, and use of alcohol. Please, if you're under 17, get your parents' permission before watching this video. Enjoy. Welcome, everyone, to a new series. I gave some hints in a tweet about going to be playing is Skyrim soon, and here we go. Um... I'm very excited about this, uh, but actually this episode we're not going to get into much gameplay. Um, what we are going to talk about is what mods I'm going to use, um, which isn't a ton, not a ton that completely, no, well not a ton that changed the game a lot, uh, just some immersion type mods, things that make the game feel bigger and better. Um, so before we even go into the game, let's go take a look at that. Also, um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the mods I'm going to be using. Uh, so if you want to skip ahead to the beginning of the game, we're not actually going to get to any gameplay in this video, but if you want to skip ahead to the game, you can just click here or down in the description and it'll link to it below. Okay, everyone, let's take a look at Nexus Mod Manager, which is the modding um, manager that I use for Skyrim. I'm pretty sure it's the quintessential mo modding manager for Skyrim and a lot of games for that matter. Um, before we look at that though, I do want to show you guys what I'm using for the background music in this video. This is a, it's only four songs. I don't know if there's more to it or if that's all there is. Uh, this is Groove Shark and I just happened to stumble upon this the other day in Groove Shark. It's four songs from Skyrim that are just 100% piano. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love working to the Skyrim soundtrack. That sounds really dorky, but it like makes it, it makes my, it makes like even the, the, the silliest graphic designing that I'm doing feel epic. And I just love the music from Skyrim. So anyways, in Nexus Mod Manager, here is what I'm using. And we're just going to go straight down the list. We have Immersive Armors. Immersive Armors uh, does just that. It gives you more armor, um, different types, different styles. Um, you know, different helmets and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any pictures over here. Apparently not. We're not even going to bother looking at that. Um, we're also going to be using immersive sounds, which is on top of, not, not, not on top of as in, in this list it's on top of, but, um, we've installed the sounds of Skyrim. Actually, you know what? They didn't enter. They didn't, they, they coexist very well. When you install a mod, if it's going to overwrite something another mod has done, it warns you. And it didn't warn me, actually. So we have a number of different um, audio uh, mods. Uh, Immersive Sounds Compendium basically changes a lot of the sounds. It's really, really cool. Like the sword swooshing sounds. And you really hear it with the bow and arrow. Like there's like this whistle with the arrow. And it just, it just sounds more natural. Uh, sounds of Skyrim, these three all go together. They basically add sounds. So in the forest, you'll hear more animal sounds. In the dungeon, you'll hear the weather outside and more creepy sounds in the dungeon. The civilization is great, except I had to turn one off. One of the sounds that it does is like a crowd of people talking when you're in the city. The problem is when you're in Whiterun, there's not a crowd of people. There's like at most eight and the crowd sounds like there's like 30. And so that actually took me out of the gameplay. And I'm really wanting this to kind of be an immersive experience. Um, Open Cities is honestly the coolest mod I think I've ever... I can't imagine it actually works, but it's the coolest mod I've ever seen. What it does is allows you to not have load screens when you're entering and leaving cities. So the doors just open and you go in. Cloaks of Skyrim and Winter is Coming basically adds cloaks to the game that look really, really cool, and you can enchant them and stuff. It's really, really neat. And the and the the real purpose for this is people were like, okay, I'm wearing, a, like, especially if you're a female, you're wearing this armor that barely covers your body, um, and you're in this really, really cold climate. You need a cloak to be warm. Um, then we're using Enhanced Distant Terrain. I don't know how much that's actually coming across, but we're going to keep it. Um, and actually, I think I want to, no, nah, yeah, we're going to leave that at that. Uh, wet and cold is a really cool, I had been, well, let's back up. I had been using enhanced lights and effects, but it dropped my frame rate down way too much. Um, wet and cold is really cool. Wet and cold, um, adds droplets of water when you or an NPC has been in water and gets out. It also, uh, makes 
snow appear on your character and the NPCs. And also, um, and this is the most important one in this mod to me, is in cold climates, you see um, you see um, fog come out of people's mouths as they're talking. It's, it's amazing. Not using any different texture packs. We're just going to use the default texture pack. The, the, I just wasn't, I honestly wasn't super happy with a lot of those. Um, so instead of using, I prefer enhanced lights and effects, but instead of using that, I'm going to be using realistic lighting overhaul. It's not my preferred, but it doesn't have the performance drain. I also would like to use Climates of Tamriel, but it also has quite a performance drain on my computer. Um, because remember, this is a budget gaming PC. Uh, we also have some unofficial patches here, nothing too special there. SKSE scripts, that's basically something you have to put in for, for some other mods. Um, a quality overworld map, which actually I'm thinking of, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do this live on camera just so you can see how this kind of works. I'm going to change this mod. Um, I didn't like what I had chosen before, so we're going to change this. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Should be popping. Oh, there we go. Um, I want, um, quality map install road. Yeah, I had classic map and I didn't really like that. Let's do install. Okay. Um, immersive HUD is i'll just have to show you in game what that does but immersive hud and sky ui both change the way that things well sky ui changes the way that menus look like when you're buying something or when you're looking at your inventory immersive hud basically makes things in your heads up display disappear when it's not needed so when you have no weapons drawn this the crosshair goes away and it's very customizable i'll show you that in game um as well at some well yeah I'll, I'll show you in this video but it won't be with this character it'll be with my new character probably maybe i don't know no i'll just show you all later uh fps counter we're actually gonna turn off because i don't need that that was just for my testing purposes it displays the frames per second better dynamic snow uh makes the snow on the ground and the snow that's falling look better footprints is also an amazingly mo uh, amazingly immersive mod where you leave footprints you and npcs leave footprints in the snow so i've seen like pictures of people after a big battle with a bunch of like bandits in the snow there's just footprints everywhere and it looks so cool glowing ore veins is probably the most important mod to me i have the worst time finding ore in skyrim because it just blends in too well this makes it glow a little bit um and is that is that removing from the immersion i don't think so it just makes it look magical pure waters makes the waters look really really good realistic smoke and embers um actually yeah we'll keep that one um crossbows um, immersive weapons and unique bows collection all add different weapons, much like the immersive armors added armor. Um, so that's it. I will see you guys in Tamriel. All right, Dovakins. Let is Dovakin already plural, or is it Dovakins or Dovakins? Dovakins. Dovakins. Welcome back, Dovakins. Um. Uh, so we're going to jump right in. Like I said earlier, we're not really going to get into any gameplay today. This is That's why this is labeled Episode Zero, because this is basically just going to take us all the way up until... Um, uh, I'm going to go through character creation, and then we're going to stop there. So that's all this video is going to cover. So if you want to skip ahead to the character creation, you can actually click here or down below. Um, if that's all you care about, if you, if you already know the game, you don't need to watch the cutscene. but if you want to watch it just cause it's cool, have at it. So I'm going to click new, start a new game and I'm going to mute my mic and we're just going to enjoy it together. See you on the flippity flip. Well, that was an interesting glitch. This hasn't happened to me before. Um, way to kill the immersion, Skyrim. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Look at the wheels. <laughs> I really don't know what is... Oh my goodness, we are... 
Oh my goodness. Please tell me this will work. Hey, you. Finally awake. Yeah, with the cart rolling like this, you of course I'm awake. Across the border, right? Oh my goodness. Right into that imperial ambush. What Same is causing us. this? And that thief over there. Stolen that horse and then halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me. We shouldn't be here. It's the storm cloaks the Empire wants. Oh no, I should be here. We're all brothers and sisters. Oh my goodness, I can't now. believe this. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to him. the true high king. Ulfric, the Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. If they capture you. God, where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going, but Sovereign... No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be at home. Rorikstead. <laughs> I'm, I'm from Rorikstead. <gasps> General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Nabella, Kinnereth, Akatar, <laughs> Divines, please help me. This is awful. I don't I I don't know what to say. I hope it only affects this. Like surely the rest of the okay. gameplay is okay. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks Oh well like we just heard a horse. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. The Revelog is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Dad? Where are they going? Go inside. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. The house. Now. Yes, okay, so how are we gonna stop? Oh my goodness. Why are we stopping? <laughs> Why do you think? End of the line. Okay, we let's go. Okay, this is not how we so normally stop. What are they gonna do? No, wait, we're not rebels. Oh my goodness. Face your death with some this just goes to show you. Oh my goodness! You've got to tell them we weren't with you. This is a mistake. Okay, it's gonna fix itself. Surely it's gonna fix itself. One at a time. Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. This just goes to show you how much it's really not like a cinematic. Here of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! Oh, frick, you're having some problems, brother. Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Okay, hopefully that dislodged Ulfric. Who are you? Okay. Okay, yeah, good, good. It looks like Ulfric. Look at our wagon. Um, if you skipped ahead to character creation, you need to do yourself a favor and go back and look at the intro. Um, modding Skyrim, Skyrim is um, not for the faint of heart, and it really jacked up the intro. Okay, we're going to play as a Khajiit, because I've never really played a Khajiit. My, my, my main character that I played uh, when I played it on X, this on Xbox uh, was an orc. He was like this du ac dual axe wielding, um, you know, crazy enchantments. Also, he had infinite magic because um, there's a you can stack um, once you get your max enchantment levels. It's possible to make it to where you don't lose magic when you're casting like spells. And so he was he was like this this magic warrior. He was he was legit. So anyways, we're going to be a Khajiit this time. 
and I've actually, I haven't, how do I, oh, R, there we go. Oh, wait, no, I'm not done, not done. How do I go to body? Just click on that, there we go. Um, uh, I, I've, I just switched over to using mouse and keyboard not long ago. I want to start with something dark and mysterious. I like this guy. We'll start with him. Um, yeah, we definitely want that. We're, we're going to go with... Yeah, we're going to go with that one. We want them to be pretty small. Okay, let's go to head. And complexion. Can't remember what that does. Oh. No, darker the better. We want to be sneaky. No dirt. Can I do this? Yes, okay, I can't do this here. That'll be much easier. I don't want any scars. I'm too I'm too quick to get scars. I don't want any war pain either. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And how do I move forward? I guess I have to click to do that. And face, nose type, that that nose was fine. I should kinda like that one a little bit bigger. stuff really doesn't matter that much to me yeah moving on to the eyes something kind of squinty that'll be good oh good the eyes don't glitch in the xbox version the eyes always glitched for me like they would like look really funky oh yeah that's the one we want right there now that, that's a little too creepy should we go with that that's a little too creepy let's go with those Okay. Anything else we want here? Eye shadow. Eye tint would be cool. Let's do something dark. Eye. Eye. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, brow. So yeah, the deal with this Khajiit will be, he will be um, straight up stealth, you know, assassin kind of guy also very good with his words very 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 uh persuasive uh don't need that stuff oh what's lip color let's go darker hair okay this i don't want sticking earrings That's too dull. Hmm. Hmm. Sure, we'll go with that. That's fine. I mean, I'm going to have a helmet on the whole time anyways. Or some kind of hood. Uh, oh, there's facial hair. Okay, so I can change that. Well, never mind. Let's look at the hair again. Yeah, we're going to go baldy. He needs something down there. Give him some whiskers. Nah. Now nah, we're going. We're going clean. Good. All right. We're done. And with a little nod toward the Khajiit, we're going to be Kyle Blaine. But it's going to be spelled a little bit different. Kyle Blaine. There we go. Who are you? You with one you of the trade that. caravans, Khajiit? Your kind always seems to find trouble. All right, folks, that's it for this episode. We will catch you guys on the next time to see what happens next. Bye. By your orders, Captain.